Hello, the internet. Are we ready to buck up some videos? Great, uh, I'll show you how. So, I've made this thing called uh, DD Glitch Assist, which is just a graphic user interface front end for FF Glitch created by uh, Romulo Poller. Uh, it just gets all the command line crap out of the way so that you can just hit buttons and screw up videos and get on with your life because there's more important things to do than wait around for figuring out how to type scripts and so on. So, uh, yeah, shall we? Yeah, let's, right. So, here's how we do it, right? Come to the website, come down here, a bit further down the page, and you download this. Anyway, like Blue Peter, here's one that I downloaded uh, earlier. It's just this zip file here, right? So all you need to do is go into this zip file. There's a folder here. Uh, find a disk, a bit of space somewhere. Drag and drop that folder, and it'll unzip. Inside this uh, folder, you'll find this thing called DD Glitch Assist. And here it is. First thing you're presented with because glitches is an error message of some sort. Uh, well, okay, let's deal with that. It couldn't find the right path. So what we're gonna to need to do is tell it where all the relevant files and folders are for stuff. So I'm gonna drag FF glitch into the FF glitch path. I'm gonna drag FF MPEG into the FF MPEG path. I'm gonna give it an intermediate folder I'm going to come into my scripts and decide actually let's have the instant damage scripts. Drop those in there. We need to tell it also an output folder. That one will do. And a folder for the bakery. Bakery? Bakery! Here I've got a folder full of videos, so I'm just going to pick Julia. So this is just what Julia looks like. This is a regular MP4 that's been baked politely so it'll work on the internet. So yeah, enough of that for the moment. Right, so what we're going to need to do is make an intermediate file out of this so that we can attack the motion vectors within the video. We can't do that directly from the MP4 itself, so we need to first turn it into an MPG. When we've done that, we can then use the intermediate file that we've generated to attack it with some scripts. That will make an output file which will play back with the glitches in something like VLC, but try it with Media Player. It might not work, and certainly it's going to give you a hard time if you try and throw it back into a video editor. So the final part of the process is to then bake that file into something that your video editor can actually use. So first part of the process is to drag and drop the video into the start file. Now, we need to tell it how many keyframes we want. I'm going to tell it that we only want one keyframe every thousand frames of the video. And because this video is short, it just means we're going to have one keyframe at the beginning and everything else is going to be done in motion vectors. I'm going to leave the bitrate, actually. I'm going to leave that at 20. The smaller the output bitrate, the more messed up the file is going to be, but it may also have some uh, additional errors and error messages and so on. Anyway, long story short, let's just hit pre-process. So that's done. It's telling us it's probably taken the smallest amount of time possible, but it's cool. What we'll see is that in this field here, we've now got a video. We can play that. It's got rid of the sound and it looks, you know, kind of like the original. But the point is now that there's only one keyframe in this video and all of the motion vectors become available to be messed with with the scripts. In the instant damage folder here, I've now got a list of scripts that I can attack it with. So I'm just, for the sake of this demo, going to choose randomizer. Everything's ready to go. I can hit glitch it. Now, uh, this is going to then drop a file here, which lives in our output folder, and that's the glitch done, and it looks like this.
Great, so uh, that's the pre-bake file. This won't work exactly by dropping it into your editor, you need to bake it first. But since we've already got the intermediate, we can just pick another script. Uh, let's try oh, something ridiculous like slam zoom in and see what this does. Hit glitch. There'll be dialogue pop up in the background. It's on another screen, so you can't see that at the moment. But anyway, that's uh, processed. So let's open that file. And here it is. It's now zooming in on all of the motion vectors within the file and making a right old mess of things. But anyway, that's the joy of glitching. There is another set of scripts in the uh, scripting folder. There's well, there's 150 odd scripts, something like that. So if I want to change the set of scripts that I'm using, just come into here and say, well, let's have some random damage scripts. Drop that into the script folder. And now I've got a whole different set of scripts here that I can play with. And so let's try gravity. Now, this is just going to glitch every now and then, and then, then let the regular motion vector take over. So that's done its job, and now it looks like this. It's not permanently glitching everything, it's just deciding every now and then if a threshold of a random number is met, then it's going to apply the glitch, and everything else that happens after that is down to the regular motion vectors in the file. So it's going to kind of be unpredictable. Let's just do another one for the hell of it. Uh, let's pick wave two and then glitch that. So that's done. I can now open, open, open this file. So there's a slightly different character to every single uh, script. All right, so far so good. Let's just close that window we'll now see that all of these files have landed in our output folder here as video files that we've made, okay? And so what we need to do now is to bake them back into a regular MP4 that we can use in our editor. And to do that, we can either just hit bake and let it happen with these settings because it's already told us what the last file is, or we can drag and drop a file here we can choose the output wrapper. I'm going to stick to MP4. We can choose the method, which I'm going to say well, CUDA because it's nice and quick. I'm going to put that on the faster setting and I can change the output bit rate here. So I'll try about mm, uh, 10 or 11 or 9, 10, and then hit bake. So that's now baking and that's done. And what we should now see is that a folder for MP4s has landed here and that's our baked file that will now work in a video video video, 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 video video that will now work in a video editor so uh, other things you might want to know about this question mark here next to the uh, glitch it button tells us if we hold down control and press the glitch button we'll process the single intermediate file with all of the selected scripts if we hold down shift it will process all of the intermediate files with the selected script. And if we hold down Shift and Control and click, then it will process all the intermediate files with all of the scripts that are currently uh, in the script folder. So it could create a huge amount of files. Uh, just be careful that you don't end up overrun with stuff. So because the same is true of the baking setup, what we can do is if we Control click, then we can bake all of our outputs in one batch using the same settings. And so just to demo that and to show that it works for a different output format, I'm going to choose MUV. I'm going to leave it on CUDA. I'm going to crank the bitrate right the way down and leave it on fastest. And now control click on bake. Oh, look, bake all files in the output folder. This will attempt to create four files. Let's do it. So. Now, in the output folder here, we'll find the mod folder, and there's all our four files ready to bake. Uh, different baking settings will do different things, so play around with it, fuck stuff up, have fun. 
If you want to bake to a series of JPEGs, then you come here and select the JPEG setting that you want. 1, 24, 25, 23. Well, I know that these are 25 frames a second, so that's there, and I'm just going to hit uh, bake, but I'm going to do it on only one of the videos just to show you, because it won't work as, as a batch of all the videos. So I'm going to take the wave video, which is there, and then bake it into JPEG. And now here we've got all these files that show us the individual glitched images from the video. So yeah, um, that's about all there is to say about this heap of shit of a piece of software. It kind of works. Uh, fuck stuff up to your heart's content. So that's all for me for the moment. Dazdisley.co.uk Find the relevant link. Find the download. Fuck shit up.